Game four of the World Series Saturday night. Prior to the game, Zach Britton and Kenley Jansen named the relievers of the year for their respective leagues. And a couple of the Hall of Famers getting festivities going. Fergie Jenkins and Greg Maddox with the ceremonial first pitches. On the hill for the home team, John Lackey, as the Cubs look to even up the fall class and get two wins apiece. Opposing Lackey is Corey Kluber. Starting on three days rest for the second time this full season, but the Indians' ace had a bumpy bottom of the first. That's in the center. Here comes Fowler. The Cubs strike first. And this is the theme for tonight for the Cubs. Anyway, anyhow. The payoff swung on. He hit high and deep to right. Hayward's back on the track. Looking up, it is gone. And we've got a tie game. Carlos Santana with his first World Series hit. And win or no win, he blasts one into right field. And just like that, the Cubs' lead is gone. Chisholm all at second, Naquin at first. Game tied at one, two out, two on. Second inning, full count on Kluber. And the payoff pitch. Swung on a little dribbler, third base side. Charging Bryant, bare hand grab, throw on the run. It's not in time! Here comes the runner from third, Chisinau to score. Ball got away from Rizzo at first. On his way to third is Naquin. And the Indians have a two to one lead. On a swinging bunt single, halfway down the third baseline by Corey Kluber. Lackey pumps, fires. Kipnis with a line shot to deep right. This is down the line, headed for the corner. It'll bounce into that corner for extra bases. Hayward will throw towards second, but Kipnis has a double. That's inside as Lackey drops down, doesn't get the call, and it's a full count. Landor shoots one into right center field, a base hit. Fowler over to cut it off, in to score as Kipnis hits three to one. From a near strikeout on the previous pitch, and there's Lindor right in the middle of it. Here comes the pitch to him. Called strike three on the inside corner. And now Contreras is an unhappy customer at the plate. Here's the pitch. There goes Hayward again, but it's swung on and missed strike three. And the side is retired. That is knocked down by Montgomery. Throws wild at first, two on with nobody out. And Rizzo almost got Santana too far off the bag. Here's a smash into center, tagging, scoring. It's four to one. Coco Crisp will pinch it for Corey Kluber and face the right-hander, Justin Grimm. The payoff swung on line to center field. Coming on as Fowler dives and he can't make the catch. Ball rolls behind him. Crisp on his way to second. The throw to second is not in time. Left-hander Travis Wood is entering for the Chicago Cubs. There's a 3-1. High drive into right back at the wall. It is gone. Kipnis, a three-run shot. And he busted open here in the seventh inning from Northbrook, Illinois. And around the bases here at Wrigley Field, he's made it 7-1. And you see what they're doing back home. They are absolutely loving this moment, as is Kipnis. They have won just about every game this man pitches. The pitch. Swung on, smoke to deep left center field. Geyer on the run, it's over his head and over the wall. How about that? Dexter Fowler has hit a solo homer on a line shot to left center. No earned runs until the home run by Fowler. And now Rizzo strikes out. Zobris went around. The Indians pound the Cubs in game 4-7-2 to put the drive one win away from a world championship. Corey Kluber becomes the only pitcher in baseball history with at least 35 Ks and a sub-1 ERA in his first five career postseason games. The Indians will try to wrap up their first world title since 1948 on Sunday as they send Trevor Bauer to the mound in game five. He battles the Cubs' John Lester. Pitching on three days rest for the second time this postseason, Corey Kluber was lights out yet again as he turns in six innings of one run ball. For more on the Klubots game four effort, here's MLB.com's Jack Morris. Corey Kluber 
went out there today, gave up a run in the first inning, but then really settled in. His teammate Carlos Santana was able to hit the home run to tie the game in the second inning. I think that took a little pressure off of him. He may have not had his best stuff early. He didn't have the good sharp breaking ball early, but he was able to control his fastball, and I think as the game went on, he got better. He certainly has shown everybody in baseball that he's the ace of the Indian staff.